Peaceable relations between the Dutch and the native peoples of the region are maintained through the 1630s. According to the Dutch, beginning around 1625-ish, the Pequot began a phase of expansion, trying to bring all the wampum producing areas of Long Island Sound under their domain. The Pequot also spread their political control up the Connecticut River, conquering several tribes in the region to gain better access to the fur trade. The Dutch are also allowed to begin a trading post at present-day Hartford, the House of Hope. This relationship is maintained until the mid-1630s, when some of those recently conquered tribes in the Connecticut River Valley, conquered by the Pequot, reach out to English officials in Boston and Plymouth, inviting them to settle among them in the hopes that they will be able to break themselves from Pequot control, Pequot domination. The injection of several hundred English settlers, forming the towns of Windsor and Wethersfield and eventually Hartford, changed the whole power dynamics in the region. In addition, back in London in 1632, Lords Say and Seal and Lords Brook are issued the Warwick Patent, which is granted by the King of England, allows them to form a settlement somewhere in the Northeast. In 1635, the proprietors send Lieutenant Lyon Gardner here to Pashbashock at the mouth of the river to begin a settlement. And Gardner, with 20 men, begins the construction of some houses, a fortified trading post, a fort, and enters his own trading relationship with the local Nahantic Indians. Everything, again, main, uh, is, is peaceable in the region until the mid-1630s when the introduction of these new English towns, hundreds of English settlers, disrupts trade between the Dutch and their native allies. It disrupts relationships with the Pequot and their new tributary communities in the region. A series of miscommunications, um, growing mistrust, and eventually several murders in the region will lead to a full-fledged war between the English and the Pequot and their allies beginning in 1636, which will place Lion Gardner, Saybrook Fort, squarely in the middle of this conflict for the first six months of the war.